When's the last time you heard this? All right, folks here in Salvaging, Arizona. Today, we are doing something completely different. I am on a vacation and I am on my way to Bisbee, Arizona. On my way there, I was just outside of the town of St. David. And I am a lover of old abandoned stuff. And I realize that this is a little off the channel's purpose, but oh, we're gonna have a little look here. Just gonna see here. What are we looking at here? Interesting. Interesting. A little big time on the cobwebs. Oh, look at this. Front porch. I like that. That is cool. Huh. Look at that. And there's Arizona Highway 80 going down to Bisbee. You know, folks, when you see this, this is not what you think of when you think of Arizona. You think of deserts and whatnot, but this looks, this is pretty cool. This is just outside of Bisbee. Well, all right, folks, here we are just outside of Bisbee, Bisbee at the Lavender Pit Mine. And yikes, that is, I mean, that almost looks like Yellowstone with the colored liquid like that. Only it's not bubbling like Yellowstone does, but this is called the Lavender Pit Mine. All right, folks, here we are at the Shady Dell, one Douglas Road in Bisbee, Arizona. You got to park out in the parking lot and they get these cool little carts to come in. And I was going to do a surprise as I walked in, but my battery was dead. So I've gone through it and you were going to come with me. Now, what this place is, is basically they, they've collected vintage trailers from the 50s, 60s, etc. And they refurbished them and put them all back together. And very... Period correct. I mean, we got the, got the old record player, the old board games. A little pan around here. Got the got the couch. I'm not sure if that's a pull out. Rotary phone. Unfortunately, no dial tone. But pretty cool. When's the last time you heard this? And moving on, as we can keep the door open for the light, we got a little heater here. And I thought they didn't have TVs, but they do. This TV and a little DVD player. Now comes the kitchen. Here's where it gets pretty pretty cool. This is where almost got these tiny old retro things here. Sink. All the cabinets. Real pretty. And look at this little stove. I'm all a five foot six, so if I'm taller than this, this is a tiny little tiny little thing. And it works. Oh Kelvinator. Oh, I remember that. Wow. So you got the ice in there and a little kitchen area and then we enter our first bedroom and it does have AC it's up there and what you can do is you can wall off each side just like that it's got storage here and one question I had when I booked this place was do they have a bathroom inside and the answer is yes they do, and now that's, that's a tiny sink. I mean, <laughs> this is a tiny little thing, but gets the job done. And this is the back bedroom. Now this was, I think, one of the biggest ones they had. I've got uh, some folks coming down over the weekend here with me. I got here first, but uh, yeah, this is a pretty good size one. I think it's the only one in the place that sleeps four. And then if you got a boogie and get out, there you go. And right there is there's a boat and I can't really get a good shot but anyways right on the side of it there's a, there's an actual yacht that they have and you can stay in it unfortunately it was booked when I made this reservation but but that's it check out this is a 1955 crop I believe k-r-o-p-f something to that effect but uh that's us here at the Shady Dell this is our view from Outside our front window, see there you park right there. All right, it's gonna be a fun time. Okay, here's a lesson, folks. When you have your 45 and you try and put it down, 
it wobbles all around. So, you gotta get the little thing, just like that. Put it on there. And now, Chuck Berry, Johnny Be Good, will play. Okay, let's go ahead and file this under stuff you don't see normally in Arizona. <laughs> A running stream? What? What? What is that? This is beautiful. It's like 70 degrees out. Mild rain. Okay, well we have brought our bike to Bisbee. So let's go out of this tunnel here and see. This is one of the downtown streets. Get the exact name of it. I'll put it up here when I can do that again. There's the old Lowell Police Department. Now Lowell is a town right off Bisbee, kind of together as one, as it were. Oh, is this the, the yep, that's the stray hound. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was all about, but really interesting and cool stuff here. You know, life's like Lowell life. Biker Patrol. <laughs> Look at all the old classics parked here. That's cool. And at the top of the hill is the Bisbee Breakfast Club. Plan on going there in the morning. And there's a shot down the hill that we just came up. And it's a cool mule there up at Lowell. And they keep the classics going. Well, apparently this continues. There's Bisbee Town Hall. Looks like an old, oh yeah, the old gas station. And there's the old mining operation up there and <laughs> a short jaunt away we have the mine Police Department, Lowell J.P., Honorable Judge John Sharp. Not sure who that guy is. But it is sufficiently locked up. Looks like somebody was trying to get in there. But duct tape fixes everything, right? There you go. This is actually the back of the abandoned Lowell Police Department. You'd think at some point somebody would come along and grab all this. Look at that old barred up window in the rear. Huh. I want, that's gotta be it. It's gotta be the jail. Okay, well I'd say definitely this was the jail. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So, when you got in trouble down in Lowell, this is where you'd wind up. Ugh. All right, folks, and this is the Lowell Middle School, and it is an old one. I mean, I, I again, I don't know much about all this. Man, it's definitely, definitely got some years on it. It's impressive. Very, very impressive. 
That looks like a newer gym, but definitely uh, Bisbee goes back to the 1800s. So, well, if you look at this, how fitting a copper door of the school. Bisbee is known as the, yeah, one of the copper mining boom towns, and that's cool. Never seen a school with a copper door. I like it. Okay, I thought I was done there, but I just turned around and I was surprised. <laughs> the, that's what the, the school opens up to. Cemetery. Uh, uh, uh. Well, Alright folks, we have made it down to the border station of Naco, Arizona. And prior to going in, we're going into the gain. Okay folks, here we are on the streets of Naco. Just crossed over right there. And... And we heading hey folks here in salvaging arizona we have made it back to the other side we are back in naco arizona i didn't do much filming there ah i did not get a good vibe filming on that side i really didn't um pulled that out maybe it was just time of day or what but once i pulled the, the this camera out a lot of people started looking at me and it got really weird really quick so i put it away uh but we're gonna go to the gay 90s cocktail bar here and have us a few more drinks right here on the Naco border. Well, all right, folks, as I mentioned, I am a lover of old abandoned stuff. And here we are in Palominos, Air, Palominas, Arizona, at the Palominos Trading Post. You can see the old Ghost of the sign there. The old looks like the had the gas station going. It's probably right out here. I like this stuff. I really do. It looks like somebody that PTP. Let's see here. Looks like they got a little flag there. Oh, this is cool. I like the decay on that. That is cool. Right now we're on our way to Miracle Valley, which is the site of an abandoned religious place that was the site of a shootout in 1982. And it has since been abandoned. It was between members of the church and Cochise County Sheriff's deputies uh, long story, but uh, it's a pretty interesting place from what I've heard. And uh, we're going to go check it out. Oh boy. Uh, I don't want to know it's down there. All right, leaving the Palominos trading post. See it as we approach a large facility there. I'm not sure if we can get in, so we'll see. Does not look like it. Hmm. We'll darn it. Well, there it is. Looks like we can't quite get there, but uh, and like I said, that was the scene of a shootout in 1982 between church members from Chicago who, for some reason, decided to come here to Miracle Valley. I'm not sure why set up a church and something about the deputies who needed to serve papers on there and a big snafu happened and bullets started flying uh it was not a good thing but um that all happened right here all right this is down the ways from that miracle valley church that was abandoned now, i don't know if this is related to that but this is definitely an abandoned compound of some sort as you can see Got a lot of Bible verses there. And then over here, have another one over here. Jesus, come quickly, hold thy fast, which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And back here, got some very, got the old uh, windmill, the old bathtub out there. Obviously abandoned. I don't know anything about this place, but it's very pretty.
Well, all right, folks, here as we are aware of pickpockets and loose women, we are at the home of Doug Stanhope. As I mentioned before, this is the home of Doug Stanhope. One of them, one of the same guys with the man show, along with Adam Corolla. And like I said, he has put his address out on the internet many, many times. And in fact, on Google Earth, it even says that he lives here. So, that's some pretty interesting stuff. Doug Stanhope, one of my favorite comedians. And he lives in a little humble place like this, down this little street. Pretty cool. Okay, folks, up top of the town here of Bisbee is what was what is called the Hillcrest Apartments. Obviously been abandoned for quite a while. Very old structure. Right on the edge of the mine. Let's go around to the front. It's pretty interesting. Here is the downstairs. It's definitely abandoned. We'll take a closer look down there. Here is coming down the hill as you leave the Hillcrest apartments. Not in the best of shape these days. scrappable stuff in there. No one's taking it. This must not be a scrapper town. All that scraps right there. Boom. They even left the wire. And this is what we got here, folks. We are at the Copper Queen Motel in downtown Bisbee at the saloon up on the balcony. As you can see, it's really pretty. We've got the mining and historical museum right there. Let me hit that up. We'll see. Eight dollar admission. Doesn't sound too bad. Really pretty up here. Very nice. There's one of the many staircases Bisbee is known for. And we're going to be heading down to the old Bisbee Brewing Company right there. Testing out a few bars here in the downtown area, you know, for research. Well, we're going to document the quirkiness of Bisbee. As you can see here, a lot of artwork. The city park. Huh. Never seen a city park up on stairs before. Let's go check that out. Well, well, alright. I did not know this was here. City park dedicated May 1916. Got the band clamshell going on there. Got a cool little elevated city park. Something I have never experienced before. Interesting. I think this shows the quirkiness of Bisbee. Here you got a patio overlooking downtown uh, brewer brewery district and the little tiny house. I like that. And how can you have a tour of Bisbee without the famous art walk here? Just a few feet south of St. Elmo's Bar. Which is a very nice bar and I suggest you go. 
shows how old this is, the WPA. Wow. That's 1930s. Miniature dwarf goats, peacocks, pot belly pigs. Yeah, it just keeps going. I know a lot of other folks have done this walk, but I never have. Well, that's pretty cool. Looks like a little Airbnb or something like that. The bungalow. That would be nice. Very nice. There it is. These empty lots. These are all once homes. If you notice, most of the remaining homes are covered with tin roofs. For two reasons. First of all, it was easier to get up the side of these hills than the backs of mules. Second, it helps also helped protect your house from the hot embers of your neighbor's burning house. St. Patrick's. We also got the original Irish building has marble floors, staircases, columns all throughout. All of that marble is harvested here in Cochise County on the marble quarry of Cherokee Mountain. We are being watched by Border Patrol right now. I guarantee you that. You got that right. We are on camera and someone is watching us. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> See what they'll do then is they'll run up and down the inside of here with track and they'll have tires on steps and chains. To look so that they can see the fresh footprint. But you well alright folks here in Salvaging, Arizona, we're gonna end this different non-scrapping episode today at the Tombstone City Hall. We're heading back home back to Mesa. Thanks again for coming. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll be back to scrapping next week.